Hey everybody, it's me, Gregory Manorino. It's Tuesday, and I'm very calm right now, as you can see. Tuesday, uh, February 7, 2023. I don't even know where to start this video. Um, let's start with the markets here real quick. So, a nice rally on Wall Street. Um, it opened its mouth today. You know, and honestly, it was very hard for me to listen to that. It's just, you know, lie after deception, after twisting of whatever he wants to do, this guy. And you could see the way, you know, when he was being interviewed, the blinking. You're watching his eyes? Over and over. You know, something's up there, okay? Um, this is an organization here that has to go, okay? The Federal Reserve. I don't know what we're going to do about it, you and I. Uh, we can talk about it and talk about it and talk about it. But until we get some kind of public outcry here, until maybe, uh, I, I don't think this is ever going to happen here, our politicians who are all in the back pocket of the corporate agenda itself uh, really try to take action here, we're, we're just done, okay? Um, that's the truth, unfortunately. It's, uh, it's the way it is. But... Anyway, going back to this market, so extreme volatility here. When he was started to talk, the market was all over the freaking place. The 10-year yield is higher, okay? This issue with stability here in the debt market, it's, it's still out there. Um, the MMRI came up today. Not much, not much. Uh, I think it was like 236 or 238 last time I looked at it. The relative strength of the dollar did come down. Um, gold and silver didn't too much relatively flat. Cryptocurrencies caught a bid. Batcoin. Ah, Bitcoin. Batcoin. Hey, let's create a Batcoin. Bitcoin, um, over 23000 Again, crude oil. Crude oil, the lifeblood, is really the driver here. The financials did well. You know how this works. When crude oil gets bid up, it, it lifts the entire financial sector. Obviously, it lifts the energy sector, and you get a rally like this. So crude oil, 4.4% higher on the day. Energy prices, people, just get ready for what's coming here. Powell can open up his pie hole all he wants. And what he said today, let me just go over some of this. The biggest challenge, this is out of its mouth, while he's sitting there blinking like this. Okay. The biggest challenge is getting inflation down to 2%. The it's the biggest challenge because there's no way that's going to happen. Okay, he has the Federal Reserve has no intention of that happening here at all. They're going to continue to inflate, and he's going to tell you like he did today. The Federal Reserve is shrinking its balance sheet. Meanwhile, out of the other side of his mouth, he explains. Let me get this correct here. Uh, la, 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 la. The Federal Reserve is in the process of shrinking its balance sheet. Now, let me ask you first. Let's focus on the balance sheet. How is there a balance here? How is it a balance sheet? When all it is, 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 is debt that's been issued in mass to not just the United States, but to the freaking world. So how is it a balance sheet? That's number one. Okay, so the Fed's in the, palace, in the process of balance, uh, blah, 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 shrinking its freaking balance sheet, but they're not actively even considering selling securities. No, imagine my shock. Why would the Federal Reserve want to sell anything that it owns. Of course it's not going to do that. The Federal Reserve is actively acquiring assets. So right out of its mouth, I want you to consider this. Consider this again. I'm going to repeat it. According to it, freaking the thing, the vomitous mass, putrid, disgusting, hideous curse upon the earth. Yeah, he's a curse himself, okay? The Fed is in the process of shrinking its balance sheet, okay? But they're not actively considering selling securities. No, because they're buying it. They're buying more securities. They're buying more assets. But you can't. But here's an admission. It's in your face. Okay. Once in a while, a little bit of truth goes out there. Well, here it is, right in your freaking face. And then he went on again about this disinflation, 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 and tools and tools and tools. And we have the tools to do this. And that's what we were told last time when they were trying to achieve a, a two percent inflation rate when we were running lower than that. Oh, we have the tools to do it. We're going to get it right. Meanwhile, we overshot by the what? Ex exponents here. And now he wants us to believe they have the tools. Tools. Okay. To uh, bring it down. Absolutely not. Okay. Could the Fed 
bring down inflation right now, today? Absolutely they could, 100%. Contract the money supply, inflation disappears. But you see, you're not allowed to know that. You will not hear that ever. Have With a show of hands, because I can see you, how many of you have heard a peep about contracting the money supply on a single one of the propaganda ministry channels? No, you haven't, because they can't tell you that that is a tool in the Federal Reserve's toolbox. Can't make this stuff up. So uh, what else did we find out today on the economic front here? So demand for U.S. exports continues to fall. Imagine my surprise here. That's just why we have factory activity, industrial production here in the United States. According to them, not Greg Manorino, we are in a factory industry recession. Oh, but everything else is just great. Wait till the State of the Union tonight. And the mummy, I can't do his face. You know, the mummy man, it's a freak, okay? It's a Frankenstein mummy freak. Thing, zombified, probably high on some kind of drugs, whatever it is, they're going to prop him up today, and he's going to, you know, tell us how great everything is. You see, because this is what they do. They try to convince you of everything that's obviously not true. Imagine my shock. Imagine my surprise. Imagine your surprise. You can't imagine anyone's surprise. You know, I want to touch on something. I wasn't even going to talk about it, but I'm going to. So, I don't know how many of you today are writing to me about this whole thing with Jim Rickards. Jim Rickards is calling for a market crash middle of the year. Jim Rickards is a guy who I do respect, okay? But I'm telling you right here and right now that the man is more than likely going to be 100% wrong, okay? Unless we have a meltdown in the debt market. Look, Jim Rickards, smart guy, so he should know better. Jim, if you're listening to this video, if anyone you know, Jim Rickard, send this to him. Jim, what are you seeing here? Other than obviously everything is distorted beyond anyone's wildest dreams. But you know, Jim, as well as I know, Jim, that the meltdown, the real crash is not going to begin or end, for that matter, in the stock market. It's going to begin and end with a debt market meltdown. Now you, Jim Rickards, if you could convince me that by the middle of this year we're going to have a debt market meltdown, then, then you got my support. Until then, I'm going to call you dead wrong, okay? Publicly in front of everybody. So don't, get on my, don't get on my bad side here, Jim. I like you. I really do. But anyone that's reading tea leaves that far out and is not looking at the debt market, which I'm sure you are, Jim Rickards. Uh, come on, dude. Let's get with the program. Call me. Call me. I, th I think you have my phone number. Give me a ring here. Let's, uh, let's, let's get with the program on this thing. But I'm telling you, yes, Jim Rickards, you are correct with regard to it coming in the future. Michael Burry, absolutely correct as well. All these guys, all these guys and girls are calling for a market crash, but are pointing at a date and a time and a passage in the Bible that refers to a crash or whatever it might be. They're all wrong. They've all been wrong. And then they continue to be wrong because you can't do it. Nobody, I don't care how smart you are in reality or even think you are. You ain't doing it. Okay. And the real crash will begin and end in the debt market because that's the ticking time bomb. And yes, it is ticking louder. But the illusion of stability is being maintained. Yes, we're approaching that moment of maximum saturation where, look, the system is so toxic and so twisted and so upside down that it requires the debt to be expanded on in perpetuity just to sustain where we are. You know that. I did a whole video on this yesterday. I showed you a nice chart. The de Once the debt can't expand anymore, that's when we're going to have a real issue when this whole implosion is going to occur. And the maximum saturation point is as central banks can keep to inflate, continue to inflate, and you've got now inflation, which they can't seem to control, but they're trying to convince you that there's this inflation and that inflation and other kind of crap inflation. I mean, come on now, really. You gotta be brain dead to not understand what's going on here, okay? Central banks must inflate. They must inflate or die. And let me tell you something about these central banks. They're gonna survive. They don't care if we all die, but they will inflate until a new, a whole new system is gonna be instituted. And that's what they're working towards. You see, but the thing today, Blink, blink, blinking his eyeballs. <laughs> For, you know, uh, Powell over there, he can't tell you the truth. He cannot tell you the truth that this system 
that they have to continue to inflate. And their goal here is to continue to crush the economy, crush the consumer. People need to lose their jobs, according to Neil Cash and Carry and Dally and all these other freaks out there, okay, who run the Federal Reserve. Let's start with them, like I've been telling you. Sometimes this stuff gets me worked up. I'm telling you, my heart's pounding. I'm freaking sweating over here. Anyway, uh, what else? What else did I want to talk about with you? Look, does any of this change your perspective? What you're hearing, what Jim Rickard says, or Michael Burry says, or this freak, or that freak, or Powell, or the president imbecile? Or, no. No, no, no. You and I are sitting pretty. We could not possibly be sitting more pretty than we are. Because number one, we're diversified. We're in all kinds of things. Yes, we are along this market. If you've been with me for any length of time, what's Greg doing? Greg is buying and continues to buy more ticker JEPI that pays that monthly dividend here, okay? I get paid to own it. It's outperformed the S&P 500 by a large margin, and we're still doing well. So we're along the market. We're betting against the debt by becoming our own central bank that is holding physical silver, gold, platinum and palladium if you want to as a well here. We're getting long commodities for the eventual shift where this is all going to go, people. Uh, and if you are so inclined, you're trading this market uh, as well. I released a, a trading system in my free newsletter recently. Uh, I'm working on another one right now and I am really happy about it. It's going, going pretty well. We got this covered. We got each other's backs. You know what I'm saying? We're not ever going to let each other down. This is a family to me. All of you out here, some of you have been with me for years and years, okay? We are a family, um, and I wish this family were a lot bigger than it is because we, in order for us to really do anything, we need this thing to grow so big. Um, but unfortunately, you know, people would, would rather watch, uh, you know, people licking toilet bowls and eating Tide Pods and uh, smearing excrement on their face. I mean, you know, these videos go viral when people do things like that. But you start talking about this stuff here, people, they just go blank. They don't know what to do with themselves. Meanwhile, it's really not hard. It's not hard to understand what's going on in the game that's being played against every single one of us, including those ones smearing excrement on their face and eating Tide Tide pods and licking toilet bowls. You gotta be kidding. Yeah, sure. I did that. I'd, be, I'd have millions of subscribers. <laughs> I tell people what's going on, you know, and, uh, you know, just you and me, you know, we care. Not many other people do. And they sit there and they listen to the dog poop and cat poop. You can't say S H I T anymore. It's insane. My videos are getting flagged over and over again. Anyway, so what else did I want to talk about with you people? I think we covered it all. What else could we talk about here today? You know, I'm, look, I'm happy that I could sit here and kind of vent because I, I realize that 99% of you out here, we're literally in the same freaking boat. We get what's going on here. We're all just as frustrated, but don't let the system beat you. We can't be beaten. Okay, we can't be beaten. Uh, whether you take action or you don't, there's always going to be a consequence here. I believe you need to be long this market. Forget Jim Rickards. Forget freaking Michael Burry. Okay, until we see the MMRI, the Manorino Market Risk Indicator, free to everyone on this freaking planet, link in the description of this video, spike, bang, 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 bang. Well, yes, we are in a very high risk zone. But this market seems to be liking it here, okay? This is central banks with the illusion, keeping the illusion of stability here in the debt market. They're not done. They're not done. They're not done buying assets. Don't take my word for it. According to Powell himself, the, the Federal Reserve has no intention. They're not even considering selling securities or selling assets. No, no, no. But they're going to continue to inflate and they're going to tell you how the balance sheet is shrinking. Oh, yes, it really is. And you can see it if you want to go to the Fed's website. You can see their balance sheet. It's totally true. I guarantee you it's absolutely a fact. How about no? Okay? It's just another method of deception by, honestly, the biggest criminal organization has ever been created in the history of the world and they're running rampant right now. And they, they're running the entire world. They're dictating everything. Do you understand what I'm saying? Everything. And I mean everything. <sighs> With that said, I am so going to get out of here before I really do have a freaking heart attack. People, please share this stuff. 
Uh, 9% of you are sharing this video. It bumped up to about 13%. We came down. We came down. I'm looking at the statistics. Please share this stuff. If you have a social network, just share it. If we could get more people to hear this, maybe they would get it. Maybe they won't because most people don't know what they're doing, how they're doing it. They can't walk and chew gum at the same time. They're basically zombified things. They're not even human. Really, honestly, they don't possess a human quality. And that's, that's, that, that's a problem. That's a big problem. Love all of you. Please comment. Please share the video. A thumbs up down here is always welcome. I do appreciate it. I appreciate every single one of you. Because like I said, we are a global family. We have built something here. And I think it's worthwhile. I'll see all of you in the morning, okay?